In this video, we're asked what feature of a cylinder uses the given units. And A, we have centimeters, B, square centimeters, and C, cubic centimeters. So they're asking us if we were to sketch out or, or look at any cylinder with a circle, right, a lateral surface here, which is a rectangle folded in a circle, and a circle on the bottom, what can we measure with centimeters? What can we measure with square centimeters? And what can we measure with cubic centimeters? Now, centimeters, we'll start with that one. A centimeter right, measures the distance on a length or a line. And that means that, you know, think about a ruler, we can measure a straight line. How long is this line? Well, you can take out a ruler, right, line it up there, and find out how many centimeters in the ruler this line here takes up. So it measures a straight line, or you could you can think about a curved line like a circumference, unfold it to a straight line. So it might have been a curve at the beginning, All right? But then we unfold it to a straight line right here, and these don't match, of course, but that's the idea that you can take a curve and unfold it to a straight line, and then measure it with centimeters. So what on a cylinder kind of falls in that category? Well, I would say the height. Right, of the, the cylinder, but the height of the lateral surface surface can be measured in centimeters. I would also say that you know on the bottom here we have a circle, and so on the top, the same thing. So we can measure a diameter right through the center, that's a diameter, with centimeters. So the diameter can be measured in centimeters. Also, the radius, half the diameter, can also be measured in centimeters. So we, our radius also qualifies R. So we have D for diameter, R for radius, and of course H for height. Um, we also, we don't frequently look at this, but you could measure the circumference of the cylinder, right, in centimeters. So the circumference can be measured in centimeters as well, because that's the idea that this is a curve, of course, but you can unfold it into a straight line and measure it in centimeters. So centimeters tell us basically the dimensions of the shape, and that's what I'd probably write. So centimeters equals cm, much easier to write, and that's for the dimensions of a cylinder. And you, know, you can list those out, the height, the radius, the diameter, um, the circumference, and so forth. And that, that helps us out. And that, those measurements allow us to then look at the next two categories, right? We use centimeters to understand the next two. A square centimeter is literally a square that is one centimeter on each side. This is what a square centimeter is. And a nice way of writing a square centimeter is to write cm, or centimeter, squared. Right? It doesn't mean you raise a number to the squared power, it just means a square centimeter. It means this right here. So to save yourself some time, you might want to start writing that. But what can we measure with square centimeters? Well, essentially any surface that we look at can be thought of in square centimeters. Um, this this top circle right here, when we're looking at it, we can say, okay, what's the area of this top circle? Well, you get something in square centimeters, and that's telling you how many squares, right? If I try to set up a grid here, it might come up poorly in 3D, how many squares cover the top surface here? And on this curved surface as well, right, imagine a, a curved, any curved surface, if you're putting or trying to tile that surface, or put wallpaper on it with squares, that's looking at surface area. In this case, if we find the surface area of the cylinder, right, we're saying, okay, on this surface, how many squares, this is my grid, sorry, it's poorly drawn, how many squares will fit on this surface? And if you're looking at centimeter squares, you're saying, how many centimeter squares fit on this surface right here? So really, again, square centimeters are a measure of surface, or specifically a surface area, right? So you're finding the surface area of a shape, you're finding out how many tiles could cover the surface, or how many centimeter squares, or however you want to look at it. Because squares, they're flat. It's like wrapping paper, it fits on a surface. And now, again, the, the centimeters build on square centimeters, and uh, the square centimeters are based on centimeters, and cubic centimeters are based on square and regular centimeters. Because a cubic centimeter, First of all, which is annoying to write, you can write cm to the third power. That means cubic centimeter. This is a cube. 
right? This is what it means. A cubic centimeter is a cube. And this cube is called a cubic centimeter because every dimension is, a, is one centimeter, right? The length, the width is one centimeter, and the height is one centimeter, right? All those dimensions. So we call it a cubic centimeter. And what we're measuring with cubic centimeters is volume. Because you're, you're looking at not the surface anymore or not the dimensions, but how many cubes can I actually fit inside this cylinder, right? If I was to stuff it with cubes, how many would fit? And that's what volume is. So as a review, cubic centimeters, which can be written like this, measure volume. Square centimeters, which can be measured or written like this, measure surface area. And centimeters, which are easy to write like this, measure the simple dimensions. And this goes beyond the cylinder. For any shape, centimeters can measure dimensions, square centimeters measure surface area, and cubic centimeters can measure volume. Um, anyway, I hope this helped. Thanks.